We talked about closed barrel terminals in an earlier program. In this program, we're going to show you open barrel terminals, where they are used, and how we crimp them. Open barrel terminals refer to the end of the terminal that the wire goes into. These terminals are associated with wiring harnesses and are built to work with a manufacturer specific harness coupler. The wire connection ends look similar to any that you will see for any make of open barrel terminal. They have two or more wings that are bent down and compressed into the bare wire for the crimp. I've seen the extra wings crimped onto bare wires, onto the insulation, and onto a seal that fits into the harness connector. Open barrel terminals are designed to work with a specific size of wire, just like a closed barrel terminal. The number 10 wire in the frame will not work in the number 16 terminal. The crimping process is simple, but uses a different type of crimping plier. The jaws have a slight ridge in the middle to force the wings to curve into the center of the wire. Before installing a terminal on a wire, it is important to examine an existing terminal on the harness to make sure they are the same type and size. Also check for a seal that may need to be installed on the wires before crimping the terminal to the wire. Examine the installed terminal carefully to see if there is an orientation to the coupler that the terminal end needs to be in. Sometimes the longer wings on the terminal locate it inside the harness coupler. To install and crimp the terminal, I have found that it is easier to install the terminal in the plier and then insert the wire. I like to be able to see how far the wire fits into the terminal. After the wire is crimped, I'll crimp the back terminal to the insulation or seal and insulation. After the terminal is installed back in the harness coupler, I'll make sure that the pin or barrel ends are even with the rest of the terminal pieces. The key points for open barrel terminals start with identifying and making sure the terminal end is compatible with the coupler. Use the right tool for crimping the terminal end. Double check and see if you need to install a seal on the wire before you install the new terminal. Check to see if there is any orientation of the terminal on the wire that will make installation in the coupler easier. Finally, ensure the terminal end is inserted into the coupler and even with all the other terminal ends. I hope this is helpful for you in the future. Thanks for watching.